I feel like a woman. Oh boy, we have a lot to talk about with Dr. Anthony Yoon, a Beaumont a board certified plastic surgeon. Dr. Yoon, thanks for being here. Thanks, Tina. I know you always have your finger on the pulse of what's happening. Yeah. Uh, you, you practice right here in Metro Detroit, but you're also very in tune with what's happening on both coasts, right? Yeah, there's a lot of news out there in plastic surgery world. I know. Yes. Okay. First, we want to talk about should we do breasts or, or booty first? Let's do breasts. Okay. We'll work from the, the okay. way down. Top down. <laughs> Top down. Um, so this is a story that we talked about about vacation breasts. Um, explain to us what that is. So there's a plastic surgeon in New York who is injecting saline into the breasts as a way to kind of test drive breast implants. That's what he calls it. So the idea is he takes a syringe of saline. Look at the size uses of Uses a long syringe, needle. By the way, okay. Let me and, hold this up. And an so average breast it. implant is six of these. And he six injects of six of these into a breast for an average implant size to give a person two to three days to try out larger breasts. The body will absorb the salt water, the saline solution, and eventually it disappears. Now $2, why would a woman, $2,500? Yes. Oh my goodness, why would somebody do that? Do you know? You know, there are people who want to see what breast implants look like on them and feel it, and so they undergo this procedure, I guess. I mean, this why is, is not... Why is it $2,500? I have no idea. The cost of the risk of him doing it, I yeah, suppose, but right. this is not something I would recommend. I mean, it, it can be potentially dangerous. If you're injecting into the breast, you don't know if you're going to cause bleeding. You could even puncture a lung if you go oh. too deep with it. So not something I would recommend. If you really want to test drive breast implants, probably do what most people do, stuff a bra for a while and right. see what you think. You go, you buy the old Wonder Bra, and uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. So that's the whole vacation breast. And now right. he's actually planning to, to add some substance to the salt water to give it two to three weeks longevity, but still, it's still a pretty extreme procedure. Oh, extreme, expensive, and uh, I don't get it. Okay, now some people are using Botox uh, to enhance their breasts. Exactly. So there is a plastic surgeon in the UK who's doing what he calls a Botox breast lift. Now, Botox is used for lots of things on label. The FDA has approved it for. Yeah. For wrinkles, for migraines, for sweating, but it's never been approved for making your breasts lifted. And so the idea is that he actually injects Botox into the chest muscles as a way to get the person to have better posture. If you paralyze the muscles of a chest, apparently the shoulder muscles take over and it gives you better posture. Oh my gosh. It lasts three to four months. It, you know, one vial of Botox costs a plastic surgeon over $500. And you mm. probably need at least two to four vials of this in your body. That's a lot of botulinum toxin. And so, you know what, if, if you want to try that type of lift and see how it works, best thing, spend $20, go online, and you can get a special bra with hard straps in the back that will improve your posture on its own. What, wait, explain this improving posture. That, gives, that makes your breasts bigger? Well, just because instead of slouching where it makes them smaller, you stand <laughs> straighter, you, you have better they posture, just and they stick bigger. out more. And that's the idea behind the whole Botox breast lift. All right. Also not recommended. Okay, <laughs> I guess not. Okay, we got to talk about the booty. Uh, Kim Kardashian specifically. This is the picture that everybody was amazed by. This one, well, yes, one this wasn't the only one. <laughs> yeah, this is the clean one. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, so there was one where she was naked, which was uh, fascinating, and then full frontal as well. Um, yes. but but this is the one we're showing on TV. So I know on her reality show, she went under uh, the microscope and said, I don't have butt implants, yes. right? Yeah, and she actually had an x-ray taken of her buttocks showing that there's no implant. Now, this is a sample of a buttock implant. You right, can take a feel if you want. Look at this. And it's, now, normally it, it comes clear. This is a sample, so it's blue. Uh, it's solid. This is something that would show up on an x-ray. So it's true. She probably does not have buttock implants, but there's a couple things, I think, going on in those photos. Yes. Number one, they are shot to an extent, and the publisher is actually admitted to that. Well, yeah, that, that photo of her with the champagne glass, I mean, there's no way they yeah, had exactly. to add some stuff onto that, right? And then number two, it is possible that she has had some liposuction where fat is taken from one area and injected into her buttocks, and that could be one reason why they're so large. And does that work? Is that an effective uh, it is. method? It is, and it is something that's done all across the country. It's done here in, in Detroit on a lot of people. In general, it's safe, uh, much safer in my opinion than using an implant like this. Uh, the negative about that is you have it done and you have to avoid sitting on your buttocks for a good month or so. <laughs> Yes. Well, what do you do? Stand? You lie on your stomach, you, uh, you lie on your side, but you don't want to sit on it and flatten the fat out. The last oh thing you want goodness. is a big flat 
buttock. Fat butt. Yes. Right. That's flat. Yeah. Wow, this is interesting. A buttocks implant, but uh, once right. again, not something that I would recommend. Not recommended. No, not recommended. Do, not do, do you do the fat into the booty? I do occasionally. There are some people who really specialize in it. You see a lot in Miami, in LA, where they inject literally up to a liter of fat in each butt cheek, basically. That's not something that I do. I'm kind of more conservative. So. Okay. All right, Dr. Yoon. We've learned a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Boy, Thank interesting you. stuff. Uh, Lee, what you